Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah and I do mostly beauty reviews on this channel and occasionally other things like makeup looks and skincare. But if you're interested in that kind of content, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And today we're gonna be discussing a new product to release and that is these Tower 28 Shine On Lip Jellies and these are their four milky shades and I'm so excited to review these so make sure you keep on watching. I feel like I've been so late to release a review on this because I haven't told a lot of brands that I moved. Anyways, I'm really glad to have them. I've gotten requests to talk about the Tower 28 lip jellies. Before they had just a clear, a tinted red, a tinted pink, and an orange. And I thought they were really comfortable to wear, but to be honest, I'm more of a nude lip shade wearer. I'll wear fun colors, but that's usually on like a no makeup makeup day. And when this release came out, I was so excited to get these. So these are the milky jellies and I've used them a couple of times before and I'll kind of talk about what I see the differences is lip products compared to their first release of lip products so let me take off my lip combo right now I am wearing the shade oat but that's in combination with all the other stuff I normally wear I guess I'll start with like lighter shades and then build up to this brown this one is called oat I really like this shade. I thought this would be kind of pale on me, but it's absolutely perfect. I think even the undertones of this lip gloss is like, it's kind of perfect for my skin tone because I have more of an olivey skin tone and anything too Barbie pink is, actually Barbie pink looks good on me, what am I saying? But I think with my eye look being so loud, I think this is just subdued enough and still makes me look really put together. I like that it adds that slight tint to my lips. Maybe stick some images of what the first um, Shine On lip jellies looked like, but they did have this tint to the lips, but it was more of like a berry kind of tint. And I'm just a little bit self-conscious about the lines on my lips. I think I spoke about that in the two videos ago. I just have one of those lips that's full, but it is also it has a lot of wrinkles in it. I've had them my whole life. So when I wear lip colors, I don't want them emphasizing my um, ridges. Anyway, point being is that the first lip jellies, I wasn't like, oh my God, because it's not that it emphasized it, but it didn't hide them either. I really like lip glosses to feel like they're filling in those ridges, but this fills in those ridges. It makes my lips look fuller and plump, and I really like the shade. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I feel like this would probably be my go-to. This is the shade Cashew. Yeah, this is the shade Cashew, and it's considered a uh, milky, rosy brown. <laughs> if you've been around me long enough, you know that I this is my freaking jam. I really like this shade. I just feel like the eye look is a little bit loud for it. It's just a little too, I don't know, it's just a little too pink, I suppose. But this is a really beautiful color as well. I feel like this is a, this is a really nice everyday shade. And I've been wearing lip liner every day for like forever, even if I'm in public. I just feel comfortable with them on. It just shapes my lips really well, but this is kind of the first time I feel like I could actually wear this on its own. It just feels like it's filling in my lips and nourishing them. Like a body cream, like how it's very like thick and it's beautiful to put on. I just feel like that's what this lip formula feels like. Alright, so the next shade is called Coconut and it's considered a milky mauve. Milky mauve pink. So this is a to me, a little bit pinker than this one, I think. So this is a little bit more pink than Cashew. 
And I also see this being an everyday lip color for me, but I could totally see myself wearing this with a lip liner just to nude it out. So I'm not really a pink pink wearer, but I do like a more nude pink. I just can't get over this texture. It's very, it's very nourishing. Truthfully, I thought they were all gonna somewhat look the same, but there are slight differences, and I'm a person that layers different lip products on top of each other, so they seem like they could really complement my everyday looks, so. This shade is called Almond, and it's called like a milky chocolate color. This is the kind of lip gloss I'm kind of scared of. There's just certain colors that intimidate me. That's just the thing. I actually really like this shade also. I thought it was going to be a little bit too deep. There's just kind of like a thing with browns for me, especially if they have red in them. They just don't look complimentary to my skin tone, but this is like the perfect nude brown. I could see people with deeper skin tones wearing this. And then on me, it's just kind of like, I feel like it gives like this look a 90s, 2000s vibe with the pastel. You know what I'm saying? The texture is very milky creamy, nourishing, beautiful, and does it have a scent? <sighs> Slightly, but not anything too offensive. So overall, I am really happy with this launch. Yeah, so this was a really quick review, but I really just wanted to give my feedback on this. I'm super duper happy with this. I'm really happy with this product. I have nothing bad to say about it. I'm really impressed. This is definitely probably one of the best lip glosses I have right now. So thank you Tower28 for sending these over. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video if you did and subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.